Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and in today's power move, we're gonna talk about how to take a 2D drawing view, like this view down here, and use this command, the dynamic 3D rotate view, to rotate that drawing view. It doesn't quite look the way I want it to look, so I'm just gonna nudge it a little bit here, and oh yeah, that looks much better. So we're gonna talk about how this command works and some pitfalls to look out for when you're trying to use this functionality. Ow! So here we can see that we're in a 3D model and now we're gonna turn this into a drawing file, make a drawing from part. I'll just choose this 16 by nine template that I've created and I'm gonna drag and drop in this front view. Now SolidWorks automatically puts me into a projected view. So I'll project a top view, a right side view and an isometric view. And one of the first things that you'll learn about this rotate 3D view or 3D drawing view functionality is that it does not work with a projected view. It's kind of interesting. It's like the command starts to work, but there's no green check mark here. And so I can't actually accept the new drawing view once I've created it. You see in SolidWorks, there's different types of drawing views that you can create. You can see here, you can create a model view, a projected view, auxiliary, all these different types of drawing views that we can create here. And those correlate to the icon that shows up in the tree. So this drawing view one is a model view. And then these other drawing view here are projected views. Well, this functionality is only going to work with the model view command. And so even though this view here and this view here that I drag and drop from the drawing view palette are geometrically identical, there are different types of drawing views over here in the tree. One of them is a projected view and one of them is a model view. And when I go to rotate the projected view, unfortunately, there is no green check mark, so I cannot accept that result. But when I go to rotate the model view, here we can see that I can rotate this into exactly the orientation that I want. And then I can hit the green check mark and there we go, we are good to move on. So now I could take this view, do a control C, click somewhere else, do a control V. And then I could take that view, do a rotate 3D drawing view. And there we go, rotate that to the backside. And now this drawing is really looking good. So let me know down in the comments, did you know about that functionality? Can you think of some good places that you're going to start using that functionality? And of course, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and be sure to sign up for a free account at www.twotalltoby.com.